Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP EliteBook 840 G8 laptop. I'm going to show you how to open it up and access your RAM if you need to replace or upgrade it. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you only have five screws here, three up top, two near the middle. And after you remove those screws, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools tend to scratch your case a lot more than the plastic ones do. So take a small, flat, plastic pry tool and then go across this seam all the way around the bottom case, all the way here, inside here, and slowly, gently pry off that bottom case from the rest of the computer. Now, as far as bottom cases go, this one wasn't very bad. This was an easy bottom case to pry off from other laptops that I've worked on. After you get the bottom case off, guys, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, just as a side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet. These are great ideas to avoid damaging your computer when you're working on it. If you need any help with tools or supplies like that to get into your computer and to make your work area safe, as well as any replacement parts, the batteries, hard drive, RAM, fans, any components in the HP EliteBook 840G8, I'll have a link up top also below in, in the description. It'll be a collection of all the tools and supplies that I use on this project, as well as any replacement upgrade parts for this computer. Before touching anything in a computer, guys, I always consider it a best practice to remove or at least unplug your battery. So here's your main computer battery right down here. There are four screws holding this battery in on top. One here, one here, one here, one here. So all four battery screws on top. In order to get the battery out, you also have to take the speaker wire here. See how the speaker wire goes along the bottom of the battery? That's kind of stuck in there. So you got to make sure that the speaker wire is not connected to the battery before you just go rip that battery out. You could damage your speakers. After that, guys, this is your battery plug right there. Some of you may have a black piece of tape over it. As seen here, when the computer was first opened, you may have to take that black piece of tape and just bend it back a little bit. But after that tape is removed, you can unplug this. Now, as with any wires in a computer, guys, try not to pull on the wires. Uh, put your fingernails on either grip there on that plug or a pry tool or a pair of pliers or something other than pulling on wires if you can help it. And you can just jimmy that plug right out of that port. So after the batteries unplugged, guys, we can get deeper into the computer now. Your RAM is underneath this metal shield right here. As you can see, it's taped down here, but it's not screwed down. So you can either remove that tape and take the whole shield off, or you can leave that tape on and just remove the metal shield, bend it backwards, and have it lay down here while you work on the RAM. As you can see here, I've opened the shield, and these are your two RAM ports here. Now, the way RAM works, guys, there's a metal spring-loaded arm on either side of your RAM stick. In order to get the RAM out, you would pry apart those arms from each other very gently away from the RAM. Your RAM stick will then release. Very often it'll pop up and then you can slide it out of that port. To put the RAM stick back in, as you can see here, there's a long port here and a short one there. So you can only put that RAM stick in one way, but get that RAM stick in, get it nice and flush and secure. And then when it's ready, push down right in the center, those metal spring-loaded arms will snap onto it and secure it in place. So this computer takes DDR4, uh, 25600 RAM, and the max RAM capacity for this computer is 64 gigabytes as far as I know. So I've always told people maxing out your RAM is a great, cheap, easy way to uh, help your computer's speed and performance. I think everyone should just max out their RAM. And as I mentioned before, there'll be RAM replacement and upgrade options in that link below in the description. So I hope this video helped you out, guys. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.